Yeah, I completely agree. Now, um, you've been obviously we've talked this before. You've been all over the place in the country, like you know Tulsa, Arkansas, you know mm -hmm. Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, Minnesota. So you've you've been to probably a lot of CrossFit gyms, yes. and so what in your mind? What makes a CrossFit gym stick out between you know than anybody other any of the other gyms that are around the neighborhood? I think it has to do with the people, but also like the mentality towards the workouts. I've been to some CrossFit gyms where people don't really want to push themselves. It, it goes back to like yeah. almost being at like a 24 hour fitness where people just want to like do a little bit. Um, they're going to like stop and get their water eight times during the workout. It's not that you can't have water, but like if we're doing like a, <laughs> you know, like a, a six minute workout, yeah, you can't go for a while. Do we need? <laughs> yeah. But there'll be people that are just like stopping, or if like I would be on a team with these people. And like, I don't care how I'm like an effort over everything person, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're like doing half the weight as I'm doing, but you're giving it your all, that's awesome. I don't think you're like pulling me down. I don't think any of that. But if I'm if like we're going, you know, back and forth on movements and I'm done and you're still sitting there and not working out. That's where like I get kind of annoyed <laughs> yeah. because like when you're on a team with someone, you got to like keep moving and like when, when it's your turn, you got to step up. Yeah, yeah. But, like there'll be these people that are just like, oh, wait another thirty seconds, and I'll just like hang out, and it's just like the, the intensity isn't there. Mm -hmm. Intensity is such a big part of CrossFit, and there are some gyms where I don't think they really push the intensity aspect of it as much. And I think it's really key to the success of being a successful CrossFitter and feeling fit and getting the best results. You mm -hmm. need to have that intensity piece. And there are some CrossFit gyms that lack that and just kind of let their members do whatever they want, scale the workouts however they want, um, don't hold up the standards of the workouts. Yep, yep. And those are the kind of things that make a gym – a gym I probably won't join because I've definitely went to gyms when I've moved somewhere and decided I didn't want to be a part of them. So that's like the kind of thing that I'll realize, you know, this gym just doesn't, and that's okay. Like that's, that's a gym for someone else. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, like, th there's still a value in that gym and there's still a clientele for that gym. It's just not the CrossFit gym I want to be a part of. And I think when we think about like how CrossFit was created and my dog's, you're, you're good. Don't worry about it. I'm like, why am I, why is my arm moving? My dog wants to play. Um, but I think that one of like the cornerstones of CrossFit is the intensity aspect. I think if you're doing it to its fullest extent, to its best expression, you're going to have that. And I personally like to be at a gym that has that, that has intensity, that really ingrains in people this idea of virtuosity and wanting to like do everything to its fullest extent, hit mm -hmm. the standards of the movements, do the things at your most difficult level, right? Like whatever the stimulus, the workout is, whatever is the most challenging stimulus you can get, that's what you should be doing. I think there are some gyms where people will like scale forever. And, and like, that's fine if that's all you can do. Um, but sometimes I think there's some people that don't realize their full potential because they're at a gym where they're not like, Hey, like we can get you that pull up. Yeah. Yeah. We they're not, they're not, they're not pushing it. They're not pushing them because they just yeah. don't want to. So, yeah. So like, like most people can like, if you do cross up for enough time, most people can get that pull up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of people at some of these gyms that don't really push for that. And there are people I've talked to at these gyms when I've dropped in on in them. And like, people will say to me like, Oh, I've been here three years and I'm really want to get my pull up. And I'm like, well, if you really want your pull up and you've been here three years, you can probably get your pull up. Like, yeah. let's, let's talk about why you haven't gotten a pull up and I'm not level one certified or anything like that. I pro probably should be. Um, but I haven't done that. But I think if you're at the right gym and you've been doing CrossFit three years, you're going to see those results. Mm -hmm. So you just need to like, I like to find a gym that has that intensity, um, that really focuses on movement standards, teaching people the standards. I think that's really important. And I think no one likes to hear like, you need to get deeper or you need to stand all the way up on the box. Like no one wants when they're dying, no one really wants to hear that. 
but you're going to be better for it. And I think yeah. the gyms that attract those people who want to be better for it are the kind of gyms I look for. And the gyms yeah. that want to set that standard. Yeah. 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 For, for me, it's, it's been hard to try to make it into a CrossFit gym because mainly of the times and stuff like that. So like all for me, like how I do intensity is kind of, so I, I follow misfit athletics. So they're, they're a company That's based in Bain. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharpen the X, uh, use, use code type one for 10% off. So anyway, uh, uh, shameless plug, but anyway, um, uh, but like it's, I follow them and they have a discord. So I kind of see, you know, if, if someone's like in another country, like has their numbers or I'll just go off on my own. And like all, all the learning that I've done is pretty much like through me, like th through like YouTube or, mm -hmm you know, all my Olympic weightlifting is just like constantly practicing all this stuff. And so, you know, I, it's like, it's almost to the point where like, I've been doing the fitness stuff for so long and as, as well as you for 10 yeah. years, um, that like, you kind of want to critique people. And it's just mm -hmm. like, you're at the point you're like, uh, I don't know if I really should. Yes, and, like, I, I've, <laughs> yeah. I do run into that. And, and then sometimes if I'm at a gym where they're not, um, like reinforcing those things, I sometimes wonder if the person who's not being told, hey, you're not doing this right, if they even know. Yeah. I think it's worth telling them because there's probably some people who might be like, oh, I had no idea I wasn't squatting low enough. Yeah. And, like, it's a, like, and then I think sometimes like when I have, when I'm at a gym and like the coach is coaching, it's sometimes helpful just to hear if they like yell out to the whole class, like make sure you're getting depth. Because even if it wasn't me, I might think like, oh, let me just let me just make sure I'm getting a little bit extra depth here. Mm -hmm. But what yeah. you do is very impressive um, to do it by yourself. And you definitely like people definitely can get times, get workout scores and like try to chase those. But it takes a lot more like between the ears to to do that by yourself without someone next to you and just be like, OK, I'm racing the clock or I'm racing this number on yeah. my own. 